Project number three, a starting a scroll cage three-phase motor with initialization resistors. We wish to develop a PLC control program based on the following conditions. Case one, when they start or I0.0 push button is depressed, the three-phase motor starts by the presence of initialization resistors in series with the power supply to the motor. After a delay of 10 seconds, the resistor circuit is removed, which causes motor to continue running with normal supply current. Case 2. Depression of the stop or input I0.1 push button shuts down the motor. Case 3. If before the last of 10 seconds, a stop button or I0.1 is depressed, output Q0.0 turns off right away. Case 4. The PLC shuts down the system when circuit breaker trips and it causes motor to turn off right away. Case 5. The PLC shuts down the system when the circuit breaker trips and only upon the manual depression of the reset input or I0.3 button can the system be restarted. Okay friends, in project number three, it is a starting a square cage three-phase motor with initialization resistors. Develop a PLC control program based on the following condition. Case 1. When the start or I0.0 push button is depressed, the three-phase motor starts by the presence of initialization resistors in series with the power supply to the motor. After a delay of 10 seconds, the resistor circuit is removed, which causes motor to continue running with normal supply current. All right, the motor is already on, so I turn it off the system. Now its system is off, motor is not working. So to start it, I tap on I0.0 input. Remember, after 10 seconds, the resistor circuit is removed, which causes motor to continue running with normal supply. This is removed, this part is removed, and normal supply is applied to the motor right now. Case two, depression of the stop or input I0.1 push button shuts down the motor. Right now motor is on. Depression of I0.1 shuts it down. Motor is shut down now. Case 3. If before the elasp of 10 seconds a stop button I0.1 is depressed, Q0.0 turns off right away, causing the motor to turn off. So I go ahead and turn it on. And before it has about 10 seconds, I activate I0.1. See, motor is turned off right away. So case three is satisfied as well. Case four, the PLC shuts down the system when circuit breaker trips or input I0.2 and it causes motor 
to turn off right away. So I turn on the motor. Motor is working right now. And now I go ahead and activate I0.2. All right. And this is case number four is satisfied as well. Motor is turned off right away. Case five. The PLC shuts down the system when circuit breaker trips and only upon the manual depression of the reset input or I0.3 button can the system be restarted. So I go ahead, restart it by depression of I0.3 to reset the system. All right, the motor is reset now, and now is ready to be turned on again. So I go ahead one more time to turn it off, turn on and off, I0.0, .0, causing the motor to turn on. I hope you enjoyed watching this instructive short video. Please be informed that Throughout my 23 instructive videos in the programming Siemens Sematic S7300 course, I showcased how to use Sematic Manager software to generate PLC control programs. Now, through the preparation of these short educational videos, I would like to express that you possess the information needed to become a successful PLC programmer. This is your moment to take information provided and not to be afraid to put it into practice. The primary difficulty that often constrains success is fear. If you can overcome this fear, you will succeed. All you need to do at this point is stop putting off and take action. Begin working and you will find it becomes easier as you progress. Once you master any new skill or task, you will realize how easy it is. That's when you may wish you had started sooner. So don't hesitate. Start right now. Begin today. Break the cycle of doubt and enjoy your newfound skills. Succeeding in utilizing them. Wishing you success and happiness.